Hi, I'm Matthew Coast, head dating coach and founder at CommitmentConnection.com. And today we're going to talk about how to text a guy you like. So if you're not really sure how you should be texting a guy that you like, then this is for you. Um, so first, there's a couple of things that you should not do when you're trying to text a guy that you like. And the first one is overanalyzing the situation and whatever he's texting you. Because if you overanalyze things, it can, I mean, you can take a text and turn it into something that it is not, completely not, um, when you overanalyze it. And, and you might end up sending something crazy back to him. You know, maybe he was trying to be nice or fun or flirty and you end up taking it the wrong way because you overanalyzed it. So don't overanalyze. And if you end up overanalyzing something, you might just want to ask a friend about it. Be like, hey, what did he, you know, what does this mean? Um, so the second thing that you should not do when you're texting is writing a book to him, writing a massive long text message to him. Um, if you need to talk that much, you should probably just call the guy. Um, so let's talk about what you should do. First one is be confident, right? So confidence is attractive in all sexes all times everywhere being attractive being confident is the number one attractive trait that guys say that they want in a woman is being attractive so just be confident with what you say and you know, convey confidence uh, end on high notes right so if you guys are having a conversation and it's going well it's a good time to end it um a lot of times uh people will want to drag it on because they're like oh well i want to keep talking to him but if things are going well and you know there's nothing left to say, just end it right there. Just end it on a high note. It's a good time. So the next one is asking him questions if you want an answer. Sometimes women will send a text and it's uh, like a statement. You know, it's like just some statement with a period at the end, and the guy doesn't realize that she wants him to answer that or say something back to it and so if you want an answer from a guy ask him a question it's good to ask questions in general because it's uh, a great way to have a conversation with someone um, if you want him to answer ask a question it's that's powerful um, and so the last thing is to make sure that you have things going on so that you're not focused purely on whether he's texting you or not and so this is kind of a bigger picture thing a lot of times women will get obsessive about text messaging and they'll just text 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 and um then he won't text back and she's like what's he doing you know and freaking out losing your mind next thing you know you're having a conversation with him and he's not even there and you're angry and it can be really really bad so have other things going on in your life make sure you have a life outside of any potential relationship that you want to get into it's incredibly attractive and that's it for today. If you have, uh, if you want more information on how to attract a quality man into a committed, lasting relationship, make sure you go to my website at commitmentconnection.com and take the quiz there. I'm Matthew Coast, and I'll speak with you again soon.